Hello guys, Tintastrophe here, and welcome to, well, a bit different video. Um, today, uh, you see my desktop, <laughs> and um, I'm going to show you how to install the uh, Seuss shaders uh, that I had also showcased on my channel recently that got a, a lot of views, um, and I'm completely surprised about it, and somebody in the comments wrote uh, how or asked how you install the mod, and I just went ahead and I told him I will make a tutorial, a video tutorial, why not? So yeah, uh, the first thing you want to uh, have is of course Minecraft, so you go here, um, and oh, that's the wrong one, oops, sorry, there we go. So first, of course, Minecraft. If you don't have that, you, why are you even here? <laughs> um, then uh, you we need to download Forge. So get the 1.7.2 Forge. Um, you can't go have a 1.7.9 shader just yet. They're working on it, but I mean you need at least Forge to run um, shaders or mod loader. So yes, I, I I like Forge. So I'll go ahead and get the installer. Yes, that's the ad fly. Just skip it up here in the corner. There we go, download it. Um, so that would be the first thing. Drag that onto here. Then the second thing you need is, well, the shaders mod, the GLSL shaders mod. So that's the, um, that's basically the program or the code that runs the shaders. Because Sonic Ethers, um, shader pack, it's just a pack that uses the GLSL because um, I mean you also can get other shader packs like uh, the cartoony one uh, I forgot again the name, it kinda looks like Borderlands okay so I'll go ahead and uh, download the one for 1.7.2 so let's download that it is soon done uh, then the other thing that you need is the Sonic Aethers shader pack of course so, we'll go ahead and get the, uh, I'm gonna get the Ultra DOF, because that's my favorite one. Um, actually, I think I could just get it from this other folder that I have here. Uh, I'll just take this one out, yeah. There we go. Uh, so that's where you download it, and yeah, here you agree, and then you press download. Then the other thing would be um, getting a texture pack. So in my video, I had the from R3D Craft uh, texture pack, but I didn't have bump mapping installed. Um, but now I actually play Minecraft normal, um, like just on my server, uh, with bump mapping, and it looks um, awesome, amazing. So we'll install that too today. I have downloaded both of them already. Uh, I have right now the 128 times 128, and for like a cinema that is coming up soon, shader cinema, the, um, I'm gonna use 512 times 512 um, for with bump mapping, of course. So yes, um, it, I'll go through quickly. Uh, I like the smooth realism, so let me go ahead and select that. Um, if you get past this advertisement then you can just get the newest version um, should work so let's go back again yes there we go and so yeah you download uh, the shader support and the um, actual texture pack uh, they both have different numbers like they're one is going to be 1.8 the other one's going to be I don't know 1.9 or something that doesn't matter uh, just get the newest versions from both of those so yes, we're done downloading, then we can get to the installation. So first, uh, we're gonna start Minecraft Launcher. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So, um, first we want to run 1.7.2. So let's edit profile, and uh, let's choose our version. So we want 1.7.2 then you can change your um, well uh, RAM usage basically um, for if for some people it doesn't work then like if for me it didn't work it came with the error message get uh, Java 8 
um, it doesn't usually automatically download that version uh, so yeah just get Java 8 Google it and you can install that and then it could um, finally work with the reallocating the RAM so you type in this this is um, just four gigabytes each because I have only eight gigabytes of RAM so we'll save the profile then let's press play to start it so when the download is finished then it will start Minecraft hopefully come on start Minecraft thank you bit of a lag today <clears throat> so um, that's it we just have to start it nothing else um, yeah so let's get out of here oh, some nice music um, yeah good so let's quit out again and now let's run the uh, forge launcher or installer with Java platform SE binary there we go install client uh, make sure that the directory is directory is right good so you should get uh, this message press OK then um, run it again Minecraft just to get the forge uh, basically worked into Minecraft and to produce the mods folder so you wanna go ahead on here again edit profile and change this um, like scroll all the way down change this to 1.7.2 forge save profile start there and now you should see on the side the forge stuff and everything and yeah good then let's get out again and the next thing we need um, is to put the shaders core into our mods folder good and now let's open um, the micro folder so what I use is I press Windows R in combination and this comes um, if you want to go directly to the micro folder, type in this. If you just want to get go get to roaming, uh, type in percent app data percent. But this is to get directly to the micro, um, well, Minecraft folder. So we just press enter, and then you're directly in there. Because if you just type in app data percent, then you come to this, and then you just have to open the dot micro folder, and you're in. So we go to mods, and drag in Optifine, and the shaders mod core. Then we go back again, and um, now you can do the resource packs. Take in the two that you downloaded. I have two exclamation marks right there because I also have my 500 times or 500 something times 500 something texture pack two, and um, the name just like it says just dot 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 somewhere around there, and I don't exactly know which one is which. That's why I put an exclamation mark in front of it, just so I know that this is the 128 one, and the other one is 500 something one. <laughs> so, um, now we have that. Let's just launch it for now. Okay, good. Now you click on sh uh, options, shaders, open shader pack folder, drag this in. So we have the ultra uh, depth of field one. Uh, go back here then you just can leave all this stuff on the side done and on video settings um, put this on 100% uh, leave that off I put my frame rate on unlimited you can do what you want to do um, I'll put mine on uh, basically normal far then everything else you can play around with <clears throat> I have everything on like maximum on and everything because I like that <laughs> and yeah so you can have all this uh, the connected textures they uh, wait there is um, connected textures you do see a bit of a glitchy glitch in there sometimes but it's not that noticeable so you can change that if you want to let's just press done you can do your normal settings otherwise you don't have to do much uh, we have here that selected good and now let's just create the world um, this is quite cool isn't it so the last thing you have to do is options um, resource packs and drag this over um, for me it works best if uh, the uh, bump mapping is underneath the main texture pack 
There you can see some bump mapping from a bit of a distance. There we go. Uh, especially on dirt, it's very noticeable. <laughs> Last thing you might realize turn off your clouds. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Turn off your clouds, and then it looks absolutely amazing. To watch even more videos, and these are some of these glitches that you encounter. Um, okay, I'm back. Uh, basically, all what you have to do is um, change at details the clouds to off. Because if you see that the clouds want to do their own shadows, but that doesn't work with the shaders mod, so you have to just completely turn them off, and then it works. So yeah, that, that was the only other problem. Um, yeah, otherwise, enjoy the mod, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Teen Tashafi, signing out.